My role within RS Components as a technical product specialist for PPE is to assist our salespeople to keep customers and their employees safe with the correct PPE. Yeah, and my, my role within 3M, within the personal safety division, I work as an application engineer and I spend a lot of time with end customers, similar to you, Sean, making sure that they're procuring the right products. So first and foremost, making sure they're procuring adequate, suitable products. Then we do a lot of training, so make sure they are using the products as they should. Yes. And then we look at validation, so things like face fit testing uh, and making sure the products are fitting them and, and, and are fit for use. So today we're here with George to discuss all things related to respiratory protection. From looking at the range of respiratory PPE offerings there are to face fit testing and how that relates to facial hair. But before we do, George, you have some information surrounding ill-fitting respirators that are related to occupational respiratory diseases. Yeah, so um, just some, some stats that I always talk about when I'm when I'm delivering respiratory protective equipment talks and, and seminars. Um, it's some stats from, from the health and safety executive and, and the stats I'm going to talk about um, are kind of pretty coherent every every single year. So alarmingly you're looking at around 120 to 150 fatalities in the workplace in the UK every year which is a horrible number to think about but then when you think about the amount of um, long latency diseases that ultimately lead to uh, deaths um, from breathing in certain chemicals uh, in the workplace or, or particular hazards you're actually looking at a number which is around 12,000 so that's a ratio really between 1 to 100 so unfortunately for every death that you might hear of, of a fatality in the workplace that happens like that Unfortunately, there's long latency diseases which are killing you know, thousands of people a year, yes. um, and which is why conversations like this and conversations we have with end customers around respiratory, respiratory protection are so, uh, are so important. Our cells at RS Components and 3M understand the importance of adhering to health and safety regulations. So George, once a risk assessment has been done, a company has identified they need PPE, respiratory protection, um, what are different types of options available to the companies? Yep, yeah, sure. So, so once uh, an organisation has carried out the risk assessment, has identified that they need PPE, so often they'll go through the hierarchy of controls, make sure that they can't eliminate the hazard, can't substitute the hazard. Uh, maybe they can put administration or en engineering controls in, but ultimately they've decided that PPE is going to be required. So when that's written to their risk assessment, they'll often come to us or come to RS um, and tell us what specific product they need or, or maybe they come to us and, and asking for a little bit more information. So often we talk about things, uh, adequacy and, and suitability. So making sure a product is adequate is what I like to call the, the Ron Seal test. So yes. is it doing what it says on the tin? So is that product providing the right protection for the wearer? Um, so, so much so that they're not gonna go through any undue uh, hazard to themselves from, from whatever they're working with. So that's adequate. And then when I talk about suitability, it's making sure that that adequate product being suitable for the wearer. So it's gonna be comfortable, it's gonna fit them, um, it's not gonna put them under any undue stress yes. and they feel comfortable wearing the product for the period of time that they need to wear it. So George, we talked about adequate and suitability of products. Um, I believe you bought some products here to show us today and they're all stocked in the RS range. Yeah, sure. Um, so uh, you mentioned adequate and suitable, which, which we've covered now. So what I wanted to do today was bring along a range of our different products, uh, which for your end customers may be both adequate and suitable, uh, and three different product ranges. So I've got filtering face pieces, often known as disposable respirators. I've got reusable uh, half masks, and I've got a powered air solution. So all of these are filtering devices. Um, all can offer very similar levels of protection, and it's really just around making sure the product is going to be adequate for the end user. So first one to talk about, and the first one of our filtering uh, face pieces. So disposable mask is our Aura Generation 3. As you can see here, it is flat packed. Yes. So it comes in its own container. So it's clean, hygienic, first time it's worn. And this product, you've actually got to open yourself. So you open up the tabs as such here, and you form the face piece to your face there. Now, nice benefit with this is when you've got the product on, it moves with you. So you've got nice flexibility, nice comfort when it's worn, very comfortable around the face seal as well. Another nice benefit as well is the valve on this product. Now we've got valves across the whole range of products we're discussing today, but this one is, a, is the new generation valves that we've been manufacturing. So when you blow on the valve, airflow is allowed out, which means that the wearer should hopefully be cooler. 
so cooler inside, but also it's deflecting air away from eyewear if you've got eyewear on to prevent it from, from, yes. fog, from fogging up. So fantastic product, um, only for particulate protection. We actually color code our straps of all of our disposable products. So FFP3 is red, FFP2 is blue, and FFP1 is yellow. So that's our Aura Generation 3. Second product, which I wanted to show, is another form of a filtering face piece, and this is our 8835 Plus. So slightly different in terms of shape, it's what we would call maybe a, a kind of cup-shaped mask, and you can see here the face seal is very different. So you can actually clean this face seal, and you can potentially reuse this product. So it's a reusable disposal, yeah, great, great feature, so uh, you're not having to dispose of it uh, after, after the, the end of the shift, if it's clean, if you can still breathe through it, and also you've kept the face seal clean and, and hygienic so that could as well. give some cost and use benefits. Potentially, yep, yep, yep. So again, it'll, it'll come down to adequacy and suitability, but that yep. product may be suitable for the working environment. Nice feature with this as well, you can actually adjust the um, straps of the product so you get more of a personalized fit. Same filter material, and again, we've, we've included a valve on this product so that warm air is allowed to force out and away from any eyewear to prevent that from fogging up. So those are our filtering face pieces. There's more in the range, more in RS's range as well, but those are just two, two of our kind of biggest sellers and two that we want right. to, to Thanks, show George. today. No worries. So George, you've gone through a couple of disposable options there for us. Can you go through some um, some reusable options? Yep, yep, sure. So I've got, got three reusable options. Um, I'll start firstly with the 4000 Plus, uh, which is an upgrade of the original 4000 series. So there's four different products available in the 4000 series range, yes. and all of them offer particulate protection and then also gas and vapour protection. So this is kind of the big distinction between a disposable mask and a reusable mask. We've now got the uh, functionality of, of dual filters, so gas and vapour and also particulate. So this is what we call a, a maintenance-free reusable. So the filters are actually inbuilt inside the mask, so there's no kind of maintenance in terms of removing them, replacing them. You just get rid of the mask when filter penetration has, has so occurred. So how long would one of these masks last for? Good, good question, and that's typically what, what we would get from, from end customers. So um, you would know to get rid of a gas and vapour filter when you can start to smell or taste the gas and vapour coming through, right. so it's reached saturation point. And with a particulate filter, and it's the same with disposables, it's when breathing resistance starts to increase. So when you find it harder to breathe through, that's the point at which you'd be getting rid of, of the product. So a lot of customers like this because there's no real maintenance to it, uh, the, you're not changing the filters. Um, very, very comfortable face piece, very soft face piece itself. You've got four straps, so for four points of adjustment, you've got a lot of adjustability in the head strap as well. So very, very comfortable, reusable product. And what you can see here is the valve. So it's a new valve on the 4000 Plus, allows more airflow out. Okay. So hopefully where it should be much more comfortable. And again, that goes back to that suitable and adequate piece. If people find this product more comfortable to wear, hopefully they're gonna wear it for that period of time that they, that they need it. So that's the 4000 Plus. Excellent. And then the second product, Sean, to talk about is a reusable mask with changeable filters. So this is our 6500 mask. So it's very, very well balanced. So um, the filters are swept back, very, very lightweight, so it fits, fits very nicely. Um, good field of view when it's on and d does feel very comfortable on the face. So this product has got changeable filters. So in this case, it's just a particulate filter on there, but we can also do gas and vapor and also gas and vapor and particulate so, so as well. If somebody uh, goes for this mask instead of a disposable, yep. um, in effect, um, you know, could this be a benefit to them? Could, could be, yeah, it, it, it'll, it'll come completely down to, to, to their risk assessment. So it might be that actually a, uh, both products are providing the same level of protection. Yeah. So this product is providing an assigned protection factor of 20, which is the same as the disposable P3s that we, we spoke about, FFP3s. So it'll come down to kind of what the user's doing, how long they're wearing it for, comfort levels, um, but then also potentially costs. So some, some end users may like to use a reusable product yeah. um, because you're not you know, disposing of a disposable every single day. So there's kind of a lot of, lot of uh, way ups. So, so it could be cost and use benefits. Co cost and well. use, yeah, yeah. But then there's a lot of examples where a disposable product may be better for the end user yes. because there's no cleaning and maintenance afterwards, no storage. They can just take a clean product at the start of the day and then get rid of the end. But the reusable benefits, you know, as you mentioned there in terms of cost and use, may be beneficial to, to that end user. Excellent. 
So when it comes to the um, 6500 quick latch, as I say, you've got the changeable filters, so you replace the filters. The face piece is very, very soft, um, soft material, very, very um, low profile as well. So if you're wearing it with a visor over the top, then uh, it can accommodate that very, very well. It's also got a quick latch functionality as well. So what you can actually do is when you've got the product on, let's just imagine you've got a hard hat or a bump cap that might be mandatory in a factory or construction site. You yeah. need to keep that on at all times. Now, what you can do with a quick latch functionality is to drop the product down away from that contaminated environment, have a break, have a breather, have a drink, have a conversation. Then when you go back into that work environment, you need to drop it's it back up. Nice feature there. Nice feature there. And again, it's kind of going above and beyond some of the other products that, that we manufacture and, and that, that are in the market there. So fantastic feature for those that maybe got other PPE on that needs to be worn at all times. Thanks, George. So that's the 6500 QL. And then Sean, the final product to talk about when it comes to our reusable respirator options is our Secure Click HF800. So this is a brand new product to the market. It's a new kind of series of filters um, and, and, a, and, and a half mask uh, face piece. So there's some really nice product functionality that I want to talk you through with this one here. So the first big feature with this product is the um, Secure Click filters. So it's a very nice and easy click in place like that. Often seen with the other masks, sometimes people are, they struggle with putting the filters in place, I guess that eliminates. It does, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, you know, it might be, might be a DIN filter, it might be a bayonet attachment. Sometimes it's difficult to know, have you fitted it properly? You know, are you actually you know, protecting yourself? Yeah. This has got such a nice feature in the fact that it clicks in place, it's auditory, you can, you can hear it, um, clicks in place there and easy to remove as well. So really, really nice feature there. Second nice feature is um, we've included a seal check uh, button on the yeah. front of the mask there. So it's easy to see visible and a seal check, we'll talk about seal checks and, and fit tests a bit later, but a seal check is something we recommend to be done every single time the product's worn to provide that user assurance that you fitted the product to the best of your ability. So all the wearer would do, they would put the mask on, um, make the adjustments they need, push down on the seal check button, have a deep breath in and the mask should kind of collapse on the face. And if you can feel air coming in at the sides, it must mean that there's a gap. Yeah. If there's a gap when you're doing the seal check, there's going to be a gap in the so workplace. Peace of mind, really. Peace of mind, exactly, yeah, yeah and, and something that we encourage to do. Third thing to talk about, Sean, is, and you might be able to see it just on the inside there, we've actually included a speech diaphragm on this product. So it helps with projecting voice. So obviously in, in a lot of working environments, communication is, is key. Yeah. So having the speech diaphragm there helps to project the voice um, so you've got clearer communication between workers, um, so a real benefit nice in, in that product. There. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, definitely is. And then the final final thing to talk about, Sean, is the new filters themselves. So you can see there's air inlets on both sides, uh, whereas on previous models that we've done, it's just been one air on or one inlet of air on on one side. So we've got in in, in effect. Uh, greater capacity for, for airflow to, to, to flow through the filters. So all in all, hopefully the products will be more comfortable to wear. Um, fantastic features with the um, uh, seal check, so for that kind of peace of mind, as, as you mentioned, breathing diaphragm, and also that kind of peace of mind that the, that the filters are, are fitted in place, in place yeah. there. Yeah. So that's the HF800 um, Secure Click product. Thank you, George. No worries.